Hi everyone, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So in this particular video series, we'll be discussing about the project management software, which is Primavera P6. So we'll be discussing from the starting, like creating of the organizational breakdown structure, EPS and so on. And we'll be lasting to the creation of generation of reports. So we'll be taking one very practical example and we'll be using that example for help for uh, uh, making you understand the use of Primavera P6 software. So see, there is one company which is private, uh, which is a private company, Wales Private Limited, and this company is headed by Mr. R. Pandey, who is the managing director. So this person has four heads under him. One is M. Sahu, who is heading the energy services department. One is R. Balaji, who is heading the construction department of this company. Then we have G. Swami, who is heading the maintenance. And similarly, we have Mr. N. Nandi, who is heading the technology services department of this particular company, Wales Private Limited. Okay. Now see, any project related to construction, like some residential flats or something comes, then that particular project will be given to Mr. R. Balaji. Similarly, any project which is related to the maintenance will be allotted to Mr. G. Swami and so on. There can be several people under R. Balaji also. There can be project managers, project directors and so on. But right now we are restricting the organogram like this only. So we'll be creating this particular organizational hierarchy using Primavera P6. Okay, so there's something called as OBS, which is Organizational Breakdown Structure, which is nothing but the hierarchy or the structure of the organization to be represented in P6. Why is it done? So that you can assign the responsible manager to the respective projects. Like, for example, I already told, suppose some residential flats construction comes, then that particular project has to be assigned to the construction head of that particular company. So for that purpose, E an organizational breakdown structure is required. So how to create one organizational breakdown structure? See, you need to go to enterprise option in the tools bar. Let me tell you, if you don't know, this particular bar, which is at the top, is called as tools bar. The one at the left most is called as the directory bar. The one at the right most is called as the commands bar. And this particular window, which is at the bottom, is called as the detailed view. Okay. So we'll be learning in depth about detailed view in the coming lectures. So right now we'll restrict to creating of one OBS. So you need to go to enterprise in the tools bar. You can expand this. You can go to OBS and you can create the OBS that I showed you. So first of all, this is R Pandey, who is the managing director of the company. You need to assign four people under R Pandey. So you can use this add button to assign four people under him. Okay. You can close this window if you want using this close button. You can delete any particular OBS element. This is one OBS element that we have created. Okay. You can delete it using this delete option. You can add this once again because it was required. Four people are required. So the first one is M. Sahu, who is heading the energy services. Uh, then other is R. Balaji, who is heading the construction department. Then we have G. Swami, who is heading the maintenance department. And last but not the least, we have N. Nandi, who is heading the technology services department. So this is the OBS that we have created. But suppose if you want to assign some person under, let's say, R. Balaji, then you can do so by clicking on add. But see, here's the twist. This will not add him under R. Balaji. This is adding him under R. Pandey. But you want to assign him under R. Balaji. Suppose he is Mr. Uh, XX, let's say you want to assign him under R Balaji, then you can use these arrows. You can, if you click on the right arrow, then it will move Mr. XX under R Balaji. Okay. I hope you get it. But since we don't require it, we just showed it for the testing purpose. So right now I'll delete Mr. XX because he's not existing in the organization. So other things that you can do is you can assign the description of the person. Suppose you want uh, to describe M Sahu, who is M Sahu, what is his experience, what has been his portfolio about then what all projects he has handled what are his qualifications that you can mention all these things in OBS description by clicking on this modify option you can enter whatever you want about him M. Sahu has uh, maybe 28 years of rich experience in uh, let's say energy services 
and so on you can enter whatever you want about him you can click on okay and that's it okay so similarly you can assign the responsibility also also if you want see it has come if you want to assign some responsibility like suppose you want to assign some project to him some work package to him you can do from the responsibility tabs but i suggest you that you do it when you create that particular project or the wbs which we'll be dealing with in the coming videos so right now we are not using this responsibility i'll show you in some other video other things that you can do is suppose this is the table view that is coming you want to see it as a chart view then what you can do is you can click on this display all obs elements left click and you can go to this chart view so this is the chart view that is coming now suppose if you want all these people under r pandey to come vertically right now they are horizontally no you want them to come vertically then you can go you can arrange children and vertical now you see they are coming vertical but you can't see clearly n nandi here so you want the best fit of the window so you can go there and you can go to this arrange uh, align children center and all this is something else but right now we can go to zoom and we can zoom to best fit now you can see everyone in the complete window itself suppose if you want to change the colors you are not liking the background color or maybe the uh, color of the boxes then you can again go there and you can change the chart font and colors like okay, back color maybe let's say keep, let us keep it green and box color let us keep it maybe yellow and you can click on okay so now the changes have been made suppose if you want the alignment of these people to be left aligned then you can go there align children and you can click on left now they will be left aligned and so on you can change these things using this these options which are available in the display all obs elements okay so i think that is all about it let us go back to the table view and this is what it is and we have successfully created our organizational breakdown structure for wales private limited so this is about this lecture in the next lecture we'll be understanding what is enterprise project structure so stay tuned thank you